Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I'm here to do your reading for the month of July. This is for Pisces, Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. We're just going to see what comes up. Now, keep in mind that the timing is fluid, so when you watch this, it may not resonate. It may, but, you know, it's good. it could resonate at any time in the month of July, so this is, you know, keep that in mind, all right? So we're going to get one of these, and we're going to use that deck right there. This is for Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. What do we got for Pisces? I will zoom this in once I uh, start laying out the cards. Things will come into focus much better. Ooh, the world card. So this is a new beginning. One phase of your life is coming to an end. I mean, that's what this is. It's like you've learned some sort of lesson, a big lesson, okay? This is something very significant in your life that is coming or has come to an end. So we have a, a whole new life here. This is a whole new beginning. It's a whole new world, right? So you guys are probably traveling to a new destination. Um, something could be being eclipsed out. We do have an eclipse coming. Uh, I think it's July 2nd. I'm not sure. But don't quote me on that. It's right around that time. But anyway, so this is a major new beginning. Okay, something big. Something big has ended in your life. Something that really impacted your life in a big way. Something that was very prominent is no more. And now we have a major new beginning here. It's like... Um, it's, it's time. It's time for your, it's like the world is, is, is beneath your feet and you have the world in your hands and it's time to go. It's time to go in a new direction. So congratulations really, cause that's what that is. Um, you've, you've successfully completed a phase in your life. Now I'm going to show you what's on the bottom because you know, I like to do that. Woman holding heart. 44. So this is a woman with a big, big, big heart. Um, it looks like her heart, maybe her heart has been ripped out. You know, and she's looking for, or she, she's in need of some healing. Maybe she has healing to offer. It could go either way. But whoever this is, this could be a woman that's in your life that has a really big heart. Or the, if you were the Pisces woman, this is you with a really big heart. Um, now four is an angel number. It is an angel number. This is this could be like an earth angel, right? It could be. So uh, whatever is happening this month of in July. It has to do with the heart. It has to do with um, love. Okay? This woman is all about love. Maybe I should turn the light off. Yeah, that's a little better. So it's a whole new world with this woman holding heart, right? Something like that. What do we have for Pisces? Let's just put this right up here so it's out of the way. She may be reluctant. This woman may be reluctant to offer her heart. It's like she's she's just like here it is, but I'm not so sure about it. She's she's looking in the other direction. You know, yeah, it's it's a big heart, but she's she's a little reluctant to uh give it away by the looks of things. Somebody may have had their heart ripped out. You know, probably that's the case. Mm. 
learned a lesson of some sort. Anyway, what do we got? What do we got for Pisces? Oh, 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 oh. So this is about reciprocation. This is about give and take. It's about, you know, you reap what you sow as well. I mean, this is about generosity. It's about giving to a situation. It's about reevaluation, you know. Here we have this Empress reverse. This is somebody who... may have shut down emotionally. This person is not opening their heart for sure. The Empress in reverse. This is somebody who may not have anything to offer. You know, maybe maybe she's bitter. I mean the Empress in reverse, she could be she could be bitter. She could be upset. I mean she she could be smothering. She could also be jealous and possessive. The Empress in reverse. So Oh my goodness gracious. So hmm. Let's get a bunch more cards. This could be also issues with your mother. So some people that are watching this could have issues with their mother. You know, maybe they, they, they have uh, abandonment issues. Six of Wands reverse. There's lack of confidence, lack of progress being made. Somebody may not have recognized a person's worth as well, because this is lack of recognizing a person's worth. Oh boy. Ooh. This is healing. This is healing. This is happiness. This is extreme happiness. So there's an opportunity to heal, and this is in the future position right around the corner. This is a renewal. This is a rebirth. So there's an opportunity to heal something, to find happiness again with reciprocation. They're mirroring each other with giving. If you give to a situation, there's an opportunity to heal it. There's an opportunity for a rebirth. There's an opportunity for extreme happiness, but there's lack of progress being made presently. This is the present. These two are in the present position. Presently, we have somebody that may be retreating. This person may not be opening their heart. They may not be giving to a situation fully. They may be, you know, withholding love because they've had their heart ripped out or because uh, there's distrust or there's been a lack of respect because this is a card of respect. Interesting. <laughs> oh, boy. Well, we have this King of Cups here. This is somebody who is cold, withdrawn, detached, controlling. Somebody that, you know, doesn't master their emotions. Somebody that withholds communication, uses silent treatment as a tool, may use emotional blackmail as a tactic. And you know what that would do? That will absolutely make somebody retreat. 100%. So this is about equal give and take. And we got both of these people here that are kind of battling. We got a battle here. Oh, boy. Mm, this is a commitment, though. This is an opportunity for happiness. This is happiness as well. So this is, there is an opportunity for happiness. There's an opportunity to come together with somebody. But there's, I think there's a lack of respect. Interesting. Mm. Ooh, well, there could be a fear of commitment. There could be a fear of commitment. There, <laughs> this is commitment. This is commitment. One of them is reversed. Could be dealing with a Taurus. This is Taurus. This is Taurus. This is Leo. This is Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Um, no faith, no trust. Somebody's not listening to their inner guide. Somebody's not listening to guidance. Somebody may be, have, there could be religious differences. But this is a card of healing. So this is in the future. The hopes and fears, this is in the hopes and fears con, uh, position. The hair font, fear of no commitment. There could be fear of getting married. There could be fear of God. I don't know. 
This is in the hopes of fears. There's lack of faith, lack of trust. But there's an opportunity for happiness. Right now, right now in this position, this is the right now position. There's an opportunity for commitment. There's an opportunity for happiness right now. But somebody's not communicating. They've shut down. They're not giving. They're, they're not opening their heart fully. Using emotional blackmail as a tactic. The whole thing can be healed with reciprocation, with equal give and take. It takes two. And we got a battle going on here. <clears throat> Here's your battle. Five of Swords. This is the battle. And that is no joke. I gotta win. No, I gotta win. Nope. I'm the winner. Nope. Nope, 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 nope. You know, that's the energy of this card. You've got to win at all costs. If you have to win at all costs, then you will lose. So we have some power struggles here. We have some conflicts. Ego is in the way. <laughs> this guy, you know, he's got a smug little grin on his face. These people are walking away. In the end, he's the loser. Joke's on him. Be careful. Somebody could get caught. If there's been some cheating, or if there's been some lies, or if there's been some sneaky, shady behavior, there, if there's been a third-party situation, or if somebody has been, you know, hiding their true feelings and not communicating, be careful, because the truth could come out. The truth could come out about, you know, why they won't commit or, or I think there's, there's another woman or there's another person. There could be abandonment issues here that have caused a person to retreat. But anyway, I'm going to, I'm getting off course here. Ooh, justice. This is a card of karma. This is a card of karma. This is also a card of getting what you deserve. This is a card of acting with integrity. Somebody is, you know, has a heavy decision to make, okay? They're feeling the heaviness of making a choice, making a decision. There's probably a choice between two options, between two paths. Could be dealing with a Libra. There's legal issues here. There could be some legal issues that are, you know on the table here. Maybe somebody signed a contract with somebody and now they have to sever ties because this is severing ties. There are ties that need to be severed severed here because, you know, maybe somebody, I think we have somebody here that is probably needing to make a choice, make a decision as to, you know, who they want to commit to. There is severing ties of a contract either way, whether this is a, in regards to a partnership or any other kind of contract. It's a very emotional time. It's a very intense time. There's a lot of conflict. Um, if you are completely single, completely, completely, completely single, you could be meeting somebody at a gathering at some sort of picnic this summer. Okay. But there's a lack of self-confidence here, and there's a lack of respect, and there's a lack of believing, and there's a lack of listening to any guidance at all. This is somebody who refuses to listen to guidance, the hero font reversed, you know. It's almost like I, I know it all. So right here, the approach is to act. This is in the approach position. Act with integrity. Do the right thing. Be honest. Be honest. Somebody's been deceiving. Somebody's been lying. That is the truth right here. Somebody hasn't been telling the truth about why they don't want to get married or they don't want to be in a commitment. Could be because there's another person. You 
Anyway, there's an opportunity to get in a commitment. There is. There's an opportunity to get in a commitment, to get into a contract with somebody else or with somebody. There is. Opportunity for extreme happiness here, for bliss. Right around the corner, happiness is coming. But this is not believing it. If you don't believe, then you sure as hell ain't going to get it. So... I think there's some sort of truth that is going to come out. Okay, I do. Somebody has been hiding the truth. They've been withholding. They've been detached. They've been cold. They've been they've been hiding the truth. And I think if there's been some hidden truth here, it's going to come out. That's my take on that one. Um, ooh, King of Pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, you could be dealing with. You know, we got somebody here also that is really focused on their money. They're focused on their job. They're focused on their business. They're focused on everything but a relationship. But, and that could be one of the reasons why they aren't, you know, opening their heart. Maybe that's why they're detached. They're more focused on materialistic things than they are in love. They want to have it all. They want to have their cake and eat it too. But it's like... They're selfish. There's ego in the way. There's pride. This is a card of ego. This is a card of ego. And this is a card of ego, too. So we have some ego here. We have some ego that is in the way. And these could be any signs. We have some ego that is in the way of a relationship that could grow into something happy. It's like there's an opportunity for wish fulfillment. There's an opportunity to have it all. But we got somebody here who is very smug. Definitely. Somebody here that, you know, it's like they think their shit don't stink. And that mentality is probably going to slap them right in the face. I don't know where that message is coming from, but it came out of my mouth. Um, yeah. Whew. Three of Pentacles. This is uh, no compromise, no teamwork, no togetherness, lack of respect. We got some people, two people that are not seeing eye to eye. That's what this is. It's too hard, it's too hard to work together with somebody. There's just a lack of teamwork in a relationship. It's because somebody isn't trusting or they're not believing or they're, they're lying. Somebody needs to tell the truth. And I do think... But the truth is going to come out. I do. I think there's going to be a conflict. There's going to be a conflict that forces the truth to come out. Somebody's been overindulging. They haven't been telling the truth, okay? They haven't been. Whatever they've been lying about, the truth is going to come out. So be careful. If, you've, if there's some lies involved and you know what they are and you think they can be hidden, beware. Okay? Because I don't think it can be. I think there's probably been a third party situation. Somebody may be dreaming about somebody else. Maybe they're talking in their sleep. Love to be a fly on that wall. Anyhow, um, let's keep going. Grieving over a loss. We got somebody here that may have regrets. May feel guilty. There's sadness. There's grieving. There's tears. I do see some tears. I think think, think that it's going to be a very emotional time. I, I don't know why. This could be a loss. I mean, it could be the Empress reversed. It could be. That's like a loss of some sort. So there could be, there could be a loss. A loss of something that you were contractor, contractually bound to. Whatever this loss is, it, there's, a, there's an opportunity for love if you, if you look in another direction. Unexpected conflict with these fives. Five, five, five. Expect the unexpected. Expect the unexpected, Pisces. 
555 is a card of personal freedom. You're about to be broken free from something that doesn't serve you. Seriously. It's not meant to be in your life. Let go of the old. It's time. If this is life choice, this is life choice is about to be made. Life change that comes out of conflict. So yes, there's going to be some sort of conflict that causes some sort of, you know, heartache. Okay? Causes some sort of heartache in your life. But whatever this is, it's going to lead you down a path to happiness. To some place more, uh, this is warmth. And this is the location, to a warmer location or, you know, a place where there's more nurturing, a place where there's, you know, more beauty. Now this is, this is, this, this could be some sort of reconciliation, the sun card. A rebirth. This is a rebirth. So I think we have like a loss that leads to something more beautiful than where you've been. A healthier situation. In a different place. You probably don't see it yet. Okay, because it's hidden, it's below the surface. You may not see this coming. <laughs> Expect the unexpected, okay? Could happen around that eclipse. The second. Second, third? I don't know when it is. Anyway, whatever has been hidden is about to be brought to light. All is not as it seems. The universe is working behind the scenes to bring you happiness. But I feel as though there's some sort of lesson that needs to be learned about integrity. Whether it's you or the other person. There's an opportunity for wish fulfillment here to have it all. But somebody's going to have to let go of their, swallow their pride, let go of their ego, be honest, reciprocate. And sever ties with something that has been a lie and I can't make that shit up it's been a burden somebody's getting out of a commitment somebody is getting out of a commitment that where there was no it's like there was no teamwork. There was no compromise. There's no collaboration. There was no togetherness. It's like they have this desire to have it all with somebody else. I don't know. Anyway, expect the unexpected, Pisces, because something is about to be brought to light that is going to lead you to happiness. It's gonna, it is going to make you very, very, very happy. But before you, this is right around the corner. It is. But before you get to this happiness, there's going to be some sort of loss. I can't make that up. Okay? Conflict, loss, something that is going to be intense. It's going to be emotional. It may make you cold and withdrawn and detached and upset. Because you probably gave to a situation. Maybe you gave your, your heart to somebody who couldn't love you. I don't friggin' know. Or didn't love you. Anyway, there's an opportunity for love. 
if you look in a different direction. Good luck. Be prepared for the expect the unexpected. Okay. Want to get an angel romance card? I don't even know where they are. Oh, here we go. We'll try it. We'll try an angel romance card just for the heck of it. One card for Pisces. Express your love. Go ahead and make the romantic gesture. That's your advice for July. Follow your heart. Good luck. 